Assalamu alaikum gentlemen. So this is our experiment number one according to our lab manual. The main title for this experiment is uh, measurements. So you are going to measure by using some instruments. So experiment one main title measurements with vernier calipers and micrometer. The main objective, the main objectives for this experiment are number one you are going to measure the volume of a sphere. So gentlemen we are just giving you this sphere, the ball you are going to measure its volume by using vernier calipers. Then number two you are using micrometer to measure area of cross section of the wire. So you will use this micrometer to measure area of cross section for the wire. Then the instruments which we are just showing you this is vernier calipers we will describe it part by part. Then number two micrometer, micrometer screw gauge, some a sphere and then small piece of wire. So gentlemen here you can see this vernier caliper number one this is the main scale main scale this is having a scale in millimeter centimeter and inch then you have this lower jaw this lower jaw is used to measure external diameter then number two this is used to measure internal diameter. Then gentlemen you are shown this small scale this is the vernier scale vernier scale and as we are going to measure in millimeter so we will use millimeter scale to measure this. Then it is given to you this is probe is giving you to measure the depth of any object and then this small button is shown to you when you will press this this will be free to move. So this vernier part will be free to move but as long as you will not press this, this will work as a lock for this. So gentlemen see here every instrument, every instrument they do have a standard measurement, a standard measurement that is called the least count for this instrument. So for this uh, Vernier calipers least count is smallest deviation on main scale divided by total deviance on vernier scale. So you can see this the smallest deviation on this because we are measuring in millimeters so 0 next line is 1 next line is 1 so our smallest deviation will be 1 then we have this total deviance on vernier scale. So you can see this gentlemen I have mentioned to you 0 then small line 1 small line 2 small line 3 this way it is going up to 10 but we are measuring we are measuring in millimeter so I am going to measure starting from this small line. So starting with 1 2 3 4 5 up to 10 is the 20 lines. So the total deviance will <coughs> be on vernier scale is 
20 lines. So here you will have a 1 divided by 20, 1 divided by 20. This will give you 0 0.05 millimeter, the least count for vernier calipers. Gentlemen, here I am mentioning you the animation how to measure by using vernier caliper. So you can see very carefully, this is vernier part moving, this nut is given in between this. So this line, first zero line is uh, going to be used to read the main scale, used to read the main scale. And then after this, you have to observe any one line which is coinciding same with main scale. Means main scale and vernier scale both have a same coinciding line. So you can see here. The main scale then this is moving, so you have this line exactly same with this. So you will count the number of lines, you will count the number of lines. So gentlemen, we are just going to use this Okay gentlemen, so here we are going to measure by using the a sphere in so you can see this your starting point your starting point is this first zero line on vernier scale so where this is coinciding with the main scale this is going to coincide with 25 millimeter on the main scale then as you have seen in the PowerPoint or in the animation for the vernier, you have to observe on vernier scale any one line which is exactly coinciding same 100 percent with the main scale. So I have seen it is going to be, let me see which line is exactly so here, here for me in this picture or in this second reading, it is giving me, it is giving me the one line. So keep in mind, first we measured it was showing me the 4 deviance, now it is showing me the one line, that means only two lines two lines. So my vernier reading will be two in the next reading. But keep in mind main scale reading is not changing, it remains same. Only maybe some small change happens in vernier reading. So this way you will measure the reading. So we have mentioned you two types of readings or two samples of reading. So you have to take three readings to measure diameter by using this vernier calipers. So you can see this, I am just showing you this is, so first of all this 0, I am going to read, this is on 25 which I have mentioned over there, then I am seeing on this exactly which is having the same number of line. So for me, it is fourth number line, fourth number line, which I have written as the vernier scale reading, vernier scale reading for number of deviance. Then next column, next column is calculation. So number of readings is multiplied with least count of this instrument, 25, then 4, 4 multiplied with least count, this gives 0 
and in the last total diameter A plus B. So, 25 plus 0 0.20, 25.20 millimeter the diameter for this sphere. Gentlemen, you have to measure this in three different, three different styles. You will see the main scale will remain same, maybe some small change, maybe some small change happens in vernier scale. Otherwise, all readings may be same. So, in the last you will measure the mean diameter for this or you will calculate mean diameter for this. So, this is calculation part for this vernier calipers. From the table you have a diameter, so diameter divided by 2 is giving you the radius and then volume of a sphere rule is 4 by 3 pi r cube. By putting the values you will calculate the volume of the sphere. So, gentlemen this is one part of our experiment which we have completed, then we have, then we have next micrometer screw gauge. So, here this is the frame, this is the frame, anvil, spindle, sleeve, keep in mind on sleeve there is a main scale, then thimble, thimble have a circular scale, this screw is showing you the lock and this is the ratchet knob or the pressure knob. Ok gentlemen, you can see this is the frame anvil is there and this is thimble or the main scale and this is going to show you the circular scale. So, ratchet or the pressure screw. So, gentlemen this is uh, parts are mentioned to you and you can see this small wire is fixed in between this anvil and I am handling this uh, instrument by using frame. I am not handling this circular scale, otherwise my reading will have defect. The least count, least count for this instrument. So, gentlemen you can see this instrument is in my hand. When you are handling this instrument, you have to be very careful. Some precautions, some very careful instructions for this instrument. You have to hold this from the frame. If you are holding this with this thimble, this may change your reading. So, always hold from the frame. Then you have to see this when you are closing this, your circular scale and main scale, thimble line both should be in the straight line. If it is not in a straight line, that means this instrument has error. So, that error will be used in the readings by calculation method to add or subtract error. So, gentlemen, this uh, least count of this instrument, least count of this instrument is pitch divided by total number of circular the total deviance on circular scale. So, the pitch when I am just rotating this one complete round starting from 0 to next 0, this is giving me, this is giving me 0 0.5 pitch. So, 0 0.5 divided by circular scale, this has total 50 deviance. So, 0 0.5 divided by 50 will give us 0 0.01 millimeter. So, you can see here on the frame it is also written the least count of this instrument 0 0.01 millimeters. As I mentioned to you what we are going to measure using this instrument. So, Gentlemen, we are here. I have just mentioned to you 
through the animation how to read this very accurately. So, just focus on this then we will start on the experiment. So, you can see this this is the thimble man scale. So, on man scale you can see this line this line is shown to you 3 then next point half is there. So, 3.5 thimble reading is 3.5 then in the next which number of this circular line or circular scale is mentioned. So, that is 16. So, 16 division multiplied with the least count of this instrument 3.16 oh sorry 0 0.16. So, 3.5 will be added with 0 0.16 we have 3.66 millimeters for this animation reading or for this picture reading which is mentioned to you. But the practical picture which we are going to use in this experiment because we have to measure because we have to measure the radius of this piece of wire by using this. So, I am going to fix this piece of wire closing this. So, keep in mind I am not pushing too much I am not pushing too much just holding then this screw up sound is coming to you. So, now I am going to read this. So, on this main scale on this main scale let me see it is near about 0 0.5 0 0.5 and on this scale it is mentioned to me it is in between 35 and 36. So, keep in mind keep in mind you have to take the lower one if it is not exactly on the line you have to take the lower one. So, it is mentioned to you 35. So, by just putting this we have calculated this by using the formula and then the diameter of this wire. Gentlemen keep in mind this wire is having three different locations. So, first at this point and second at second point or that the center I have inserted same way I will measure. So, keep in mind there will be no change no change in the main scale, but maybe some small change happen in circular scale. So, you have to choose three different locations and gentlemen you carefully you have to see I have uh, handled or just handed this instrument by using frame I am not handling by using this this may create error in my reading. So, be careful in this and also I just mentioned to you not by two force just only small pressure. So, gentlemen this way you are just going to measure the reading for this and then the using the table using the table you have this reading three different readings average or mean is taken over there and then you will use calculations. So, you will use calculations to calculate this 